Hi, this is Joe. I made a comment as an epilogue after a Brenda's blog post titled, You're the First of the First. And in that message, there were a few sentences that went like this. Perhaps it will help you better understand your shift if you think about new entities entering your physical body. She went on to use entities twice more in the next few sentences, but it was really that first one that laid the foundation for my understanding of it the way that I did. Having something external to you entering you. And my thinking was immediately that that didn't sit with me well, but I continued on and wanted to finish the narration so I could post it. But then I thought about it afterwards and I thought, you know, let me comment on this because... There are people who listen to these who have an element of trust in things that I post and in me by extension as well. So I wanted to clarify my own position about that. A few individuals came back and said, you know, Joe, that's not the way I took it. I took it to mean something like a couple people spoke of energies. I I heard it as energies or interpreted it as energies which I thought was wonderful because I'm sure Brenda intended it to be that way. Of course, I don't know Brenda personally, but because her messages have been uplifting all this time, I wouldn't expect that she would be trying to sneak in something nefarious. (laughs) But I have this radar and it's been alive and kicking ever since I first became aware of this kind of metaphysical stuff way back when. And as a result, Everything goes through that filter for me. Everything. It needs to. And I feel that it's our own individual responsibility to filter anything and everything for safety's sake. Almost as if we were caring for the welfare of a young child. As an adult, we have an understanding of the world, a recognition that not everything is as it seems. The things we expose our children to are things that pass our filters that renders something as okay for them. Now, granted, we don't have a parent-child relationship here, but there's still that filter that I run, particularly for myself. And as is evidenced by some of the comments that I received for the video, each individual is fully capable of filtering things for themselves. So with that said, I thought to myself, You know, if I had taken a moment to reread that and rephrase that in a way that would be perhaps as intended, then I would have read it like this. Instead of saying, if you think about new entities entering your physical body, I would have said, if you think about it as new entities entering your body. So you could tell by the wording that the the example that I gave framed it as entities as opposed to thinking about entities. All right, I know I'm nitpicking here, and yet by the same token, I can only rely on what's written, how I interpret it, and what the meaning is for me. Whether or not that meaning was intended by the author, well, that's just a matter of speculation. However, given that we have been listening to Brenda's works for a while now, that speculation is something we probably feel okay with making in that Her intent was most likely of benefit to us as opposed to anything nefarious that might come into play. So does that mean that I'm highly suspect of everything that I read? (laughs) No, no. I was caught by surprise by this, and despite the fact that it came from someone that, whose material that I really resonated with, I have been for some time now, I still caught it and questioned it. And I spoke for myself. And the beauty of it is that despite the fact that I may have said whatever it was that I did after the reading, that there were individuals who didn't take it the same way, felt differently about it, felt perfectly okay with sharing their own personal thoughts about it, and were all the better for it mainly because we have our own individual discernment. And that's really the underlying thing here that you could say is a theme that I've operated on 
that being that we all have within us the ability to navigate this world of messages, this world of where we're headed, and we're each on our own individual journey. So, with that said, I'm glad I'm speaking to a more mature audience. And by that, I don't mean age. I mean individuals who are capable of discerning for themselves, as opposed to saying, well, Joe, what does that mean? Does that mean this? Does that mean that? Tell me, because I need to know. You feel the difference there, right? It's so important. And it would be doing a disservice to people to position oneself as the person with the answers for other people. Now, maybe you might have some insights you can share with them. Sure, I think that's definitely helpful. And yet, by the same token, to get someone reliant upon you for knowing what something is so you can tell them what that is, mm, that just doesn't sit well with me. Never has. Well, hopefully I haven't said too much. Maybe I've said things that you probably already felt aware of already for yourself. Bottom line, thanks for listening.